With little over a year until the start of the 2014 North American Indigenous Games, NAG President and Region Rep Dave Canadian, the coach, brings us up to date on what's in store in the coming months. Right now we have about 90% of the sports where we know where the trials are going to be held. Uh, there's going to be some uh, team sports up in Mastisini, uh, Aguzasne, and here obviously. Uh, and I believe that we'll probably hold the swimming uh, tryouts in uh, Montreal. Uh, most of the sport coordinators, so I've been in contact with them now. And like I said, it has to happen this spring, summer, and fall because in January, our first registration deadlines are due. And then once we identify all the athletes and teams, they can start fundraising right away. You know, because when they get there, they're going to be housed and fed, but they have to get there. The, the main thing is we have to get the word out to the other communities. Here in Gothenwaga, we, we pretty much know. You know, so, and then we get the information from the other communities who will be hosting sports. We, we'll get that to our kids because we play volleyball, you know, and uh, I know the high school team at Survival School, they have, they have uh, some talent there and they have, they've, they've been playing in the GMAA. They might want to try out for a, a NAG, a North American Indigenous Games team. So they'll, they'll see who to contact, when it's going to be. You know, then obviously those, those volleyball tryouts will be in Aguazusne. You know, and, uh, the, one of their teams medaled at the last games. You know, we were very fortunate. Uh, last games, our two lacrosse teams both medaled. We had a gold medal team and a bronze medal team. You know, our canoeing team won the championship. Uh, they had the most points there. The wrestling team won their fifth North American Indigenous Games title. Uh, we, our soccer teams both medaled. We had a, uh, we, we'd had a tremendous team effort at the last games. Uh, our goal this time is to try to get more runners for track and field. I know they're running at KSS. Our young kids here are running a lot now. There's clubs. Uh, the kids are running now. We can, if we can get them to, to uh, try out for the nag, you know, and go to the trials. And if they're the best runners, we can get them there. And then they have the opportunity to not run in just one race, but a potentially seven races, you know, and that's a, uh, that can accumulate a lot of points for Team Eastern Door in the North. Like I said, we're about 90% where we know where everything is going to be. Once, that, once we have that all down, we're going to post it. We'll post it in the Eastern Door. We'll put, we'll put it on the web page, you know, uh, and we'll get, we'll get the word out, you know. Uh, a lot of it is by, by uh, word of mouth, you know, but if you post it on the, in, the, uh, in the newspapers and in our, on our KTV, uh, the word will get out. And then uh, we're going to send it throughout our region throughout our region through uh, the AFNQL. There's a, a sport coordinator, I mean, a, a youth coordinator who puts messages out throughout the whole region. And right there, that for sure, we're gonna get the word out. You know, and I've been in, uh, uh, we've been discussing how we're gonna do it. You know, like once we know where everything is, I'll give it to him, he'll send it out. And obviously it'll, it'll be sent out here also. You know, so everybody should be well informed of when the trials are, where, you know, and, uh, it should be an exciting time. Parts of this town will look like a, like a, little, um, a little Olympic uh, village, you know, when you, you have some sports going on at the same time, possibly. Soccer, you know, there's going to be teams. Also teams from Gothenburg who are going to try to make it. They have to get together, you know, have their own tryouts to make their teams and then possibly have to travel somewhere to see which is the best team in the region. You know? So, you know, these North American Indigenous Games, it's going to bring 6,000 athletes together in Regina. There's going to be like 300,000 kids trying out for these games. 